Today's project is going to be trying to get this spark plug tester to work a little better. Right now I've got it set up for aircraft spark plugs. That's an aircraft uh, spark plug lead. But uh, it doesn't put out quite a, as much spark as it used to when it was new. So <clears throat> it doesn't give you quite a good indication for the plug. These spark plug testers, especially for aircraft, I guess um, same thing holds true for automotive, is you test them under pressure. So you hook up air to here and you hold down um, or you turn up this air pressure knob and it puts air pressure into this chamber and then you can't really see it here but there's a mirror behind spark plug there's a window behind the spark plug and then there's a mirror so you can see what's happening on the end of the spark plug I'll try and film that uh, with my phone or something when I'm actually testing and then you push this button and it fires off the spark and you can see what it's doing under pressure you get increase the pressure um, and then on this gauge it tells you uh, how well it's working depending on the air pressure in the chamber so Basically, that's it. The only problem is this thing puts out a weak spark. So I found this online, and it's a um, electronic solid-state spark generator. It's used to light furnaces, boilers, and stuff like that. Okay, inside here, there's nothing really telling you what's going on, but I'm assuming T1 and T2. That's where we hook up our 120. And there's a interesting warning here that says to ground chassis at all times even when bench testing and they don't provide a ground terminal so I'll have to put one in myself but uh, you'd think uh, at least for bench testing they'd have a ground terminal here okay I've got uh, some pliers with some higher voltage handles on them Insulation. They're certainly not rated for 40,000 volts, but uh, let's see what happens here. So it definitely uh, generates a spark. Out to about half an inch, that's pretty good. So it looks like it should work. I can smell the ozone from that. So like I said, this is a spark plug cleaner and tester. So it has uh, a bag here that has the kind of like bee blasting media in order to clean off your uh, tip of your spark plug. You open up this cover, stick the tip in the uh, spark plug in here, and then you blast one button, blast it, but the other button blows it off with clean air. I'm going to go ahead and change the... Uh, grid in here. If I can get this open. It should come down. This should swing out of the way. And the bottom should drop out. There it goes. And now I'll take the cover off here. I'll turn it on its side, take the cover off, and we'll see how we can replace this unit. Okay, this was the old unit, and you can see they potted it to prevent any uh, moisture arcing. And inside of it, it looks just like a set of car points. There's little adjustments in here. Um, and I think just over time, it's kind of lost some of its strength so it doesn't put out the spark it should. So I'm going to mount the other one in the same place and then wire it in. I mounted the solid state igniter high voltage supply 
Um, kind of did a hokey splice on the high voltage wire. It's very interesting. They have a coil inside the ignition lead. It's not just a conductor. It's a spiral coil. Solder doesn't stick to it. Stick to it. So I spliced it together with a uh, crimp connector and put about 15 layers of 33 plus electrical tape on the splice. I didn't see it arcing or any evidence that it's uh, shorting through the tape. So that should be fine. And uh, we'll plug it in and see what the spark looks like. Okay, I'm using my camera on this. So you can see there's my finger, but right now you're looking through the spark plug hole. So that mirror let you look at the spark. So let's go ahead and load up a spark plug and see what it looks like. Okay, I've got the air hooked up to it so the spark plug is pressurized. And you can see the spark there on the spark plug. So know that it's good. And turning the pressure all the way up to 100, it's still good. So that means this is a good spark plug. So this project's all done. Oh, also, while I had it home, I re-glued this, uh, this rubber parts on top. It's still the original. I like to keep it original, somewhat, and functional. Oh, and I also put new glass bead in the uh, cleaning port.